Hello viewers, welcome to your reading and welcome to my channel. I am so thankful to have you here. Um, this is going to be an expanded story time reading. Um, as you can see, I have five decks that I'm going to be working with here. And the goal is to um, divine the story that um, Spirit wants to unfold for you. In other words, what does Spirit want you to know at the moment you see this video? This is a timeless reading, okay? Um, so whenever you find it, or it finds you, um, it doesn't matter if it's been six months, a year, or two weeks since the video aired, um, it is timeless, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of do a light shuffle on these cards. I do shuffle on and off screen. Um, as the channel grows, I will probably um, just start doing pre-shuffles uh, for sake of time. But uh, what I'm working with here, I have four oracle decks, and here in the middle I have a tarot deck that I will be using and um, we're just going to see what spirit wants, wants you to know at the time you view this video. I love these sort of freestyle readings. There's a lot of freedom in them and um, I feel like they can be broadly applied. Uh, with that said, this is a general collective reading. But if you would like a personal reading, I'm offering buy one, get one free personal readings through December 31st, 2023. So if you would like to buy one, gift your bestie one, your significant other, a family member, um, or whoever, feel free to reach out to me at PiscesPowerReadings at gmail.com. That's PiscesPowerReadings at gmail.com to take advantage of the buy one get one um, sale that I have going on right now for the readings. Now this previously was an all Pisces channel, uh, but I felt the nudge to open it up to all zodiac signs and placements. I am so glad that I did. Um, I just feel like it's made the community more inclusive. Um, the energies feel more diverse, more robust. And so that's been a very enjoyable thing as um, your reader to be able to feel that. Now, if you would like, I would love to hear how you're doing and where you're watching from. I would love to hear those two things if you would drop in the comments. Also, if you'd like to subscribe, that would be great. Absolutely free for you to do so. Just click that subscribe button uh, and the notification bell so you can get all notifications. And uh, yeah, that would be great. Um, let's see. So I think I'm go I think we're ready. I'm gonna go ahead and thank and welcome in the archangels. Archangels, I thank you for helping me with my channel. I just request right now that you infuse your frequencies, your vibrations, your predictions, your affirmations, encouragements, wisdom, guidance, and whatever my viewers need into this reading and into all the readings on this channel. All right, my precious viewers, are you ready to get started? Let's see what spirit wants us to know. Going to open first with an energy oracle. Mm, Archangel Metatron, that is the sixth chakra. We have the number 40. Perhaps the number 40 is significant for you. Perhaps you are 40. Um, but sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. Metatron deals with the realm of emotions. Uh, so maybe right now at the time you're viewing this, you could use some angelic assistance when it comes to your emotions. This is a message from Archangel Metatron to let you know specifically that he is here. He is available to help you with this and to give you uh, perhaps some perspective or uh, some facets about your emotions that you are feeling or not feeling. Uh, to help you with your journey. Lay that right there. I'm going to go here. 
we have the lovers. Okay, this is major arcana. Now, the lovers obviously deals with emotions. Am I right or am I right? Uh, so perhaps you are in a conflicted relationship. Perhaps you are single and you want to be in a relationship. You don't really have any prospects. Or um, you are looking for more harmony in your life if you're not looking for love and you're not partnered. So Archangel Metatron wants you to know that you can call upon him as a resource in the realm of love on behalf of your lover, on behalf of your partner, uh, and he will gladly step in to help you uh, navigate the emotional terrain of the lover's energy, okay? Next, we have sacred pool. That is because um, the lover's relationship dynamic is like that of a sacred pool. Um, this is water energy, obviously. Um, and I'm hearing that you can see your reflection in a pool, okay? And I'm feeling like you are being called to spend some time by the water. And I'm also hearing perhaps some of you do scrying or you're wanting to learn scrying, Spirit is saying that would be very advantageous for you right now. It would help you develop your psychic gifts. But spending time by water as it relates to these cards right here, um, it's just going to be in to increase your sensitivities and balance your emotions. And that is a technique I think that Metatron is sharing with you right now. Next, we have... You are good enough, full moon in Virgo. Perhaps you are Virgo. If you are, then this reading is for you. Uh, we have maiden energy here. The full moon is a time of heightened emotions as well. Um, and so perhaps part of your emotions um, that you are feeling is not good enough. Perhaps you don't feel adequate to be in a relationship. Perhaps you don't feel adequate to have the partner that you have, but Archangel Metatron is on the scene with you right now, and he is saying to just partner with him, utilize the tools that he's given you through this reading, like the advice, going by the water, uh, scrying, looking into the water, instilling your emotions, um, and just really... Be still and allow your spirit to be quiet and let things just like bubble up and see what comes up inside of you because you are good enough. Do you hear me? You are good enough for that relationship, for that job, for your family, okay? You are good enough. Next, we have the journey. This is a journey. Emotional stability, emotional fortitude, emotional dexterity is a journey and you are on it. Right here we have this shamanic figure, okay? Now, just because this person is a shaman uh, does not mean that they um, have no more room to grow or to learn, right? They themselves are still on the journey. They are on a shamanic journey. Perhaps you are too. Perhaps you're being called to that type of journey. But just know that there's, I'm feeling prompted to tell you there's no shame in that. Perhaps you yourself are a spiritual leader or you yourself are an influencer. I mean, you could be Brene Brown. You could be or like her or you could be some really high level um inspirational figure who whom people would think oh well when it comes to emotions this person's got it all figured out and that's not true that's too much pressure to put on yourself so allow spirit to relieve that pressure okay back to the energy oracle we have another angel second chakra archangel ariel archangel ariel is on the scene with you, okay? And what I'm looking at here is she has um, 
she has this globe in her hands and I feel like this represents an ear an inner knowing she has this crown of stars uh, which represents enlightenment she obviously is an enlightened being and it, I, what I'm feeling and sensing is is if you will do some time to meditate on your second chakra um, you will become enlightened in all the areas that you need for your journey for your journey okay next we have two of pentacles so for some of you this is going to be a decision okay some of you are going to look at this message and you're going to say yes i will do this some of you are going to say nope not ready <laughs> you can always tuck the reading away and come back to it later okay uh, but spirit wants you to know also that whatever you decide to do with this message as far as um, receiving help for navigating emotional terrain it's going to affect you uh, possibly in the area of your finances and your practical resources since this is the Pentacles um, suit um, and I'm even hearing natural resources because we have this squirrel and all the the rocks and the flowers here um, but I feel like the more emotionally um, intelligent, the more emotionally expansive you become, the more practically oriented you're going to be, and that's going to open doors for more money and more resources for you. The Enchanted Map, we have flying, and I'm hearing the word daydream. Some of you need to spend some time in manifestation and doing manifestation work. Um, I'm also hearing that some of you who have been talking about doing that or are doing that, you have got some haters, <laughs> some naysayers who are saying, yeah, when pigs fly, uh, he or she or they will manifest that money or that love that they're looking for. But look what we've got right here. This is not a pig, clearly. This is more like a horse, like a pegasus, a very beautiful rainbow-like pegasus uh, that is flying. And I'm hearing that you need to take this as confirmation that your wildest dreams are and will be coming true, okay? Now, the thing about these readings, I go until the downloads stop, okay? So it can be abrupt, um, and that's what makes these readings so much fun, right? Because they're kind of like a roller coaster. Um, so yeah, just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Next we have, wait a minute, I'm going here. Yeah, here we go. Upper world. See, we just got the flying card, which is an air energy. And now we've got the upper world. I'm hearing spirits say you've spent enough time in the lower realms, now it is time for you, precious viewer, to spend some time in the upper world, for your mind to be on higher things. I'm really sensing that some of you are about to go into very deep, prolonged states of meditation. Um, and you're really going to open up your psychic abilities, your third eye, and you're going to start having some visions and dreams that could potentially change the trajectory of your life uh, for the better. Not that anything's going bad, but why have good when you can have better, right? So I'm really sensing that you're going to be having, I'm even hearing the word astral projection, um, there's a lot of energy coming off of this card right now. Perhaps you're 59 years old. I'm hearing that. Maybe 59 is a Jersey number that's important to you. Maybe that was the year that you were born. Oh, wow. Or the year that your parents were born. I heard that too. Um, but get ready to spend some time in the upper world. You know what? I am also being reminded of a story in the Bible, actually, in the New Testament of the Apostle Paul, where he talks about in a vision he was caught up into the third heaven. And I'm feeling like some of you viewers, 
you know, whether you're religious, non-religious, spiritual, atheist, whatever, however you identify, just because it was a Bible reference doesn't mean it's a necessarily a Judeo-Christian thing that I'm conveying here. But what I'm saying is, is Paul spent time in that realm. You can too. That is going to be accessible for you as well. And it will change your life in the same ways that it did his. Very, very, very profoundly. What we have next... Contract. This is Libra energy number six. Um, I'm hearing pay attention to the details. There may be contracts that you are going to be signing. I just heard a music contract. So if you are a musician, this could apply to you. Um, I'm hearing a marriage contract. Maybe you are thinking about signing a prenup or having someone sign a prenup. Uh, but pay attention to the details and make sure that on paper it appears that justice is and will be in your favor should anything go awry. Now, let's see what else we have. The magician. The magician. All right, family, I got to say, there's no more energy coming through. That is the message for you. So let's take a look back. We started off with Archangel Metatron uh, offering assistance to help you with your emotions, um, particularly in the arena of love and relationships or just harmony in your relationships in general. Um, take time to spend by sacred pools, uh, whether that's just in meditation and silence or whether that's in scrying or some other spiritual practice. Understand and embrace that you're good enough because that is an emotion that needs to be dealt with so that way you can walk in the confidence that you deserve. And understand that you don't have to shame yourself because this is a journey. And this is a, a, a fulfilling journey. And we never, ever stop learning regardless of how old or experienced we are, right? And then we have the beautiful Archangel Ariel, the Enlightened One, uh, being encouraged to spend time meditating on your second chakra. Um, then we have the Two of Pentacles, making a decision to kind of act on and implement this reading. And then just don't pay attention to the haters who are naysaying and saying stuff like, yeah, when pigs fly, because you're about to enter into the upper world like a rainbow pegasus baby. Um, and then all of that somehow, well, I mean, if you think about it, I said back here, this could be for relationships like marriage contract was one of the things that I said. So yeah, just pay attention to all of these things. If any of this resonated with you, I hope that you will click that like button. I hope that you will share, comment, subscribe, help me grow this community. And don't forget uh, the buy one, get one free readings through December 31st, 2023. You can reach me for those at PiscesPowerReadings at gmail.com. And I would love to connect with you one-on-one -on -one in that way. So I appreciate you being here. And until the next video, I'm sending you so much love, peace, and light. Bye!